By God, it's Knox. Actually, no, it's not Knox. It's Fort Worth. I'm here and I'm Haas. The guy and Steven I don't Anderson. Know what's going on. But welcome. I'm Haas. I'm joined here by the one that's actually meant to be on the bench, Steven Anderson. Good to be here in Fort Worth, Texas. How you doing, Haas? I'm doing terrible. I just called this place. Fort Knox. I was gonna say, I, 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 it was like maybe another momentary lapse of Fort reason Knox for isn't you. in Texas, therefore it isn't worth shit. <laughs> but we got this Legends tag match. Some of the best teams from all of history when they performed in Texas. They're not that great anywhere else. But we have the Brothers of Destruction. We have the Ultimate Maniacs. We have DX, and we have ah. Surf City Boys, goddamn California, Los Angeles kind of fools. They're out, they're from La La Land, as they call it, down, down in the south in Texas, from what I understand. Texans don't take too kindly to the folks from uh, California way. It's good to see you, though, Hoss. You know, uh, I'm surprised that you're being here tonight. Uh, you know without being escorted by police. Indeed. Or like without a wristband or coming out like a pair of ticks high three lines of cocaine. <laughs> what about cocaine? Uh. Speaking of cocaine, here comes the ultimate warrior and macho man, Randy Savage. <laughs> And things are going to get rowdy tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you for tuning into Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Again, honor to be here calling tonight's action with the, with the madman Haas, the man, the myth, the legend, the motion picture himself. Looks like you were able to, to make parole. I'm happy for you. Indeed. Now I'm going to say the rest of the team make their way down. Now the question is, is will the will the rest of the competition be able to stand up to the likes of Macho Man and Savage and, and, and Ultimate Warrior like that? They look pumped. Ah, oh, damn! They're built like the old legends. You no, know, uh, as I think they say but, in Texas, they're, they're like a brick shit house. God damn right. Now, of course, got two more legends into the ring. DX. Very interesting. These guys. But it's the main hard. Point is that it's hard not to whoever like the wins X. here, the winner, much like Jacqueline from the women's showcase, they get a legends contendership. That means that there's actually something here. There's you know, there's implications to this match. More than bragging rights, if you will. Definitely Legends is an appropriate term for these teams involved in this match as we kick off tonight's action. Was that a video clip of the cops chasing you? DX looking to make a statement here tonight. Who is the ultimate legend? Who will come out victorious? I think that's funny. They switched roles for a day. How do you mean, Hoss? Oh, yeah, in their style. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know. Triple H doing trying to do splits like that. From what I understand. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you know, from what I understand, uh, 
uh, of DX, they've exhibited behaviors where uh, they might be switches themselves, so to speak, in one way more than one. And the legendary Kane and Undertaker. I mean, just when you see one team and you say to yourself, Jesus, those are real legends. Another team comes out. That makes you just, it just exponentially adds layers of, of legendary action that's going to be involved in this match tonight. I can't even find the words, Haas. There's no words in the English language to, to, to describe it. The fans are definitely receptive to Kane and The Undertaker. And it's already, you know, this, we haven't even kicked off the first match yet, but, you know, no offense, but, you know, we're in, we're in Fort Worth, Texas. And for those who don't know, Fort Worth is uh, adjacent to Dallas, Texas here. So, you know, we're in the heart of Texas which means that everybody in the crowd uh, is probably really intoxicated at this point. And a ripple and Texans ready for a night of pro wrestling action. Pro wrestling. Pro wrestling indeed. The likes wrestling. of these legends, I'd expect nothing less. It's pro wrestling. 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 Of course, these surf city boys from their own little slick cities. I'm staying a loger. Now I gotta tell you, I'm from New York City, and it's not very slick. I mean, it's overpopulated, and it's very dirty, and expensive to live. But you know, there's and the good pros. Finally, under where you got <laughs> Connor Hurst Hamsley taking on the Undertaker. That's a fight you're always gonna lose. Shawn Michaels and Sting going at each other's throats. Luger and Ultimate Warrior going blow for blow. And you got Savage taking on the big red machine, hanging himself. You know, it's a very good uh, interpretation of what's going on here because the difference between everybody going at it right now is very appropriate. Good clash. And it seems, it seems all of the battles they're not, see, they're, they don't appear to be united. They seem to be acting independently of each other. Simultaneously, concurrently, you know? Of course, it'll probably be a little bit until we see some real cooperation between these teams. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, right? We I mean, need to clear the field just a little bit. You're, and that's exactly right, Hoss. And that's what I'm referring to is, you know, t tonight we're showcasing the tag team. The vision here in Eclipse exactly Pro Wrestling. Right. Well, I forgot to mention the top of the broadcast. Tonight is all about tag team wrestling. Every match has tag team stipulations. We will be seeing the best that the Equinox division, whatever that is, has to offer. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they teach us. What the hell is an Equinox? Is that sound like a bird? <laughs> I believe it's an old Civil War ship. What? I don't know what you're saying, man. I don't think that they teach things like that down in uh, down in Texas. There's only three things I care about. Wrestling, my gun, and the Lone Star State, Texas. Hmm. What about the bullets for the gun? God. God makes four. <laughs> That doesn't crack the top three, God. God is number four in that list. Second Amendment should have been first. <laughs> or if the gun and God are interchangeable. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it's really good to see men in the ring right now. Oh well around the ring as well. Using old school wrestling, because that's the most effective. That's the ones that were developed in Texas. That's the ones that you'll see. 
being the most effective to hurt your opponents. Well, and you have a, a really good point there, Huss. Um, you know, the way I interpret that is this. You know, it's basically experience. I mean, some of these teams are older than others, right? So you're going to see those different styles, right? And some of these teams have been in multiple eras and have evolved over that time. So you're going to see a diverse mix of action here between these four teams. That's what's going to make this opening match so great, which it already has been. Well, it's pretty rare you actually get to say, well, young Michael's really... Sure, Michaels is really the young spring chicken of the competitors. Yes, back when his eyes were looking in the same direction. Uh-oh. Well, I remember back in... Uh, I don't even know what God thing the year before the pandemic or whatnot, but... Back in that... Australia match, Saudi Arabia match, wherever it was. One between Brothers of Destruction and DX for the last time. Right, there was combined 200 okay. years in that rank. Which is insane. That was I'm definitely an interesting match. Um, really up to someone to figure out what combined years of experience is in this ring right now. Yeah, you know, I think we would have to uh, really sit down and look at the numbers. Uh, but you're right, you're absolutely right. Adding up all those numbers to the it years. Could be, could be close to 400. Or 400 years total, maybe 200 in ring, in ring years, maybe 250. Oh, I'm learning a lot about you tonight, Haas. I'm not good at math. I'm just having a guesstimate. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to bust out the spider math here, but it sounds about right. But uh, I don't have my calculator on me. My Texas instrument. Oh, God. Stinger dropped Savage right in his goddamn head. The bastard. Definitely going to have a, a serious effect on not only his head, but definitely his neck, the, the upper spine. You already see it. Hey, Steve, you know that game, Fortnite? I sure do. Nah, cuz. The other guy that sits at the desk was getting his guy on it. He invited his little demon friend to come on it. Even the owner of the goddamn place was having to go on it. But, they didn't invite me. That's a goddamn disrespect. Respect your elders, kids. Well, you definitely got to be like 500 years old, but I'm goddamn just as old as any of those motherfuckers. Well, age aside, I would say that bad man, Hoss, you are a legend for sure. And it was their loss to not have you on that show. But uh, I will say that Fortnite, personally, I think is a little overrated. I probably get a lot of heat for saying that, but I'm not a nine-year-old boy. No offense to people who happen to like Fortnite. I actually played Fortnite a couple of times. Now I'm playing a lot of Randy's oh, being savage with that ladder now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yo. Get it because it's goddamn last name. You know, I gotta say, every, seeing seeing Savage with that ladder, <laughs> you know, it, there was a match between him and Crush in WrestleMania 10. And if memory serves me right, that match, it was a Falls Count Anywhere match, sort of a grudge match because they had lost their friendship, he had betrayed him, he had, Savage had, had lacerated tongue, he came back, challenged him at WrestleMania 10. That match was a great match, went backstage. Savage ends up winning the match by tying Crush to a rope so that he can't break out. But that match followed the ladder match, the famous ladder match between Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. So that match often gets forgotten, and I think it's very underrated. <laughs> Goddamn Sting, you don't get to put, try and put the Undertaker through a ladder. You're gonna get your head slapped in. Yep, the risky move. You know, you take the risk, and you know, oh, you gotta roll those die. I don't know what Savage is up to, but I hope Luger gets put in his goddamn head. Yeah, Luger, um, 
I'm going to have to put my fist in my mouth here because I don't want to say anything offensive. What? I, uh, I, have a, I have a personal distaste for Lex Luger. Hoss? But I don't want to get into uh, why. I'm papering in my old head so I can really hear a goddamn thing. Well, um, I, oh, Kane's got his hands on the briefcase. Uh-oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, Ultimate Warrior takes a dive. Somebody, something had to give in that scenario, Hoss. Ultimate Warrior in a lot of trouble. Randy Savage looking to be just as much trouble. I mean, no matter what direction you look at. I haven't seen a lot of DX in this match. What's that about DX? Sorry. I don't really see many of these teams work together as much. Well, that's it's interesting. Yeah, exactly. And I was expecting that. We were talking about that at the beginning of the match. Um, and it's sort of it's continued that way. It's sort of been every oh, man no, for himself. What the hell are you thinking? Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's a lot of pain on the big red machine. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that is no different for Kane. I think the only team I really seen work together was the Brothers of Destruction when Kane was going for the briefcase. Yeah, that's a good point. That's true. And, you know, I, you could really make an argument that they're probably the most connected tag team outside of Sting and Lex Luger. Old school Sting and Lex Luger were a solid tag team. Um, DX, yeah, sure, but they weren't a tag you know, Triple H and Shawn Michaels wasn't the tag team of DX when I think of DX. You know, I think of Road Dog. Uh, I think of uh, badass Billy Gunn. Wow, man, that's like six for six of people jumping to hit someone on the ladder and fucking missing. Well, this goes to show that there's so much action cost going on in this match that they must not be seeing what's going on because you would think that you would see it you and learn not to do it. Can hit a man on the ladder to save your life. And those are those are hard ladders. Ooh. I know I'm meant to be impartial as a commentator or whatever, but these guys are all being dumbasses. Well, if you put someone on a ladder, you have to punch them so they stay there, and then you have to jump on them. What's so hard about that? No, there's a lot going on in this match. I agree with you that it should not be difficult. Wow! Oh my god! It, it should not be hard, but there's just so much going on. It's so much calamity. It's so much chaos. As you mentioned earlier, not a lot of tandem action. I swear to God, Kane, you try and put in another person on that ladder and then jump on them and miss, I'm going to slap your shit. <laughs> well, I got to say, Hoss, you are a braver man than I. Weird how that would how that... What are you idiots doing? Come on, Sting, do something. Dumbass. What is going on, on there? there? A man is on the ladder with the briefcase. What are you idiots doing? Stand with the thumbs damn. up their ass. Sitting around with a thumb up their ass. Well, what else are they doing? I think I saw Shawn Michaels do a backflip. DX taking a stroll together. DX-like, not abnormal DX behavior. Did I just see DX attack each other? Once again, DX being the only team to really work together. Kane pushes it over. And then Undertaker catches Warrior in a goddamn backdrop power bomb. I'm not sure which one it was. I'm not going to use this match. <laughs> goddamn Triple H, you don't put this bastard through it. I'm going to be disappointed. I'll tell you why. Oh, it is definitely God damn it. a lot going on in this match. Another attempt. We're seeing a lot of that in this match. How long is it going to be before one of you idiots are able to put him through that ladder? You know, well, who was it? Was it Einstein off. who defined being crazy as doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? 
I might be wrong about that, but that's what I'm seeing here. This is absolutely, literally crazy. And to your point earlier, it's hard, it's hard to call the action on a, a match like this. It's because of the native way that this match is designed. There's so much going on. A four-way tag team between, you know, these titans, these legends. And you could argue that the fact that they're legends is also a thorn in their side because of a, a potential ego. Which is why we haven't seen a lot of tandem action. Goddamn saying you, you avoid the goddamn knee or ass through the ladder that many times only to grab the goddamn briefcase I'm pissed well I gotta tell you what there was so much going on damn. that people goddamn they were, surf city slickers they just get a were shot paying at the bird titles I'm pissed and you have an American right to be so this is not all Texas wrestling well you know goddamn disgrace. I just want to remind you Haas that the world is more than just the state of Texas. As what? The world is more than just the state of Texas. Yeah, well, you're full of shit. <laughs> it's the Lone Star State. It's the only star. It's the only state worth its goddamn star. Well, I'll tell you what, for, for those who don't know, Texas, they call it the Republic of Texas. If you're a baseball fan... Texas goddamn creative wrestling, you can't tell me that. Well, let me tell you, Texas is, a, is the only, it's the Republic's the only state in the United States that can annex, or that could can leave the United States. In fact, their baseball teams are the only baseball team that wears the state flag and the American flag to represent that. The only other team that does that is the Canadian team. little uh, trivia for you there. So if you watch a Rangers game, and I, I tuned out. Baseball's not America's pastime. It's, it's wrestling. Well, you're wrong about that. And uh, being that I'm from New York and uh, Houston is in Texas, uh, I have a vendetta against Houston. Houston, the New Orleans of Texas. Next, coming up, another great match for everybody watching here tonight. Again, want to thank you for tuning in. Oops, shit. Want to thank you for tuning uh, in for our them newfangled Aussies. Excuse me. People who think they're, I don't even know what dragons. They think they're dragons. That was crazy. I think that they have probably gotten some bad food from backstage, and uh, they could very well lose. Maybe I should take a trip back there and investigate. I'm just saying. Hell, I, I, I've actually remember that there's been times where I think you've woken up backstage. Like, you started your day backstage. You woke up and you were backstage in catering. You don't know what happened the night before. God damn. All right. Why does Australia exist? I'm sorry? Why does Australia exist? Well, Australia was originally uh, a prison for uh, Greenland. I know like six Australians. I could go without all of them. Well, you know, as an American. Country. If all of them were to talk at the same time, it would be really hard. I'd need to have subtitles. I've been actually practicing saying the O sound. The way that they say O's has like an R sound to it. Like, if you say no in Australian, it's like, no. Like, I, I can't do it. So, the Australians don't make any sense. There's only like two hours of wake-up time between us, so I think they're just actors. They're just paid to say hello and goodbye and whatever and talk to Americans to convince them that they were real? Nah. Yep. There's no place that could exist that for some reason doesn't have volcanoes but somehow has spiders that kill everyone and big fur 
jumping machines. Koalas. Like kangaroo. Fuck, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it, you know what? The entire country or continent of Australia is pretty much a zoo. A continent-sized zoo. Almost like Jurassic Park. That's just gone haywire. Doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. Although, I have heard that Australians have an interesting work culture and that they like to party. Now, I don't know if that's just a nice way of saying that they're alcoholics. Now, I'm Irish. And it just so happens that I happen to be an alcoholic, yes. But I am not a statistic. I don't know where I'm going with that. Goddamn match is just about to get on the way. The dragon made their way to the ring. Well, they don't look like dragons to me. That's just the name of their tag team. Yeah, I know, but, uh, get their tattoos. They uh, were done blacked out at a spring break somewhere, likely Tampa or someplace in a hepatitis rich part of Florida. Of course, I don't know why one of them started on the outside because this is tornado rules. Well, I mean, that's a very good point, Hans. To be quite honest and be serious for a second, this being the second match of our tag team showcase, right? But. There has not really been a traditional tag team match yet, which is fine, because we're showcasing the tag team prowess of the division and the diversity, which is good. But of course, the ability to work in a tag team is what's on being showcased. Exactly. Now you can see that a lot of the fans in Texas here at Fort Worth, are si some, are, some are on their feet and some are sitting down and, and, and host. I think you can agree with me here. The main reason for that is a uh, high amount of the population here in Texas are diabetics with high blood pressure. So, uh, you know, got to watch that heart rate. We have several ambulances here in the crowd, not only just for our wrestlers here and their safety, for the safety of the fans. Seems that these two teams going blow for blow around at the moment. Again, not acting in tandem, but yes, they are sort of acting in tandem. And tandem in the independent sense, right? Divide and conquer. That's what makes a good tag team, right? Being able to be operating independently of each other while being consciously aware of what's going on in the match. That's what defines a good tag team, in my opinion. And of all of the tag teams in the previous match that we saw where there was a lot of madness going on, yes, those teams have all tagged before. Probably, probably Sting and, and Luger the most. But all of them had singles runs. That the gout did their tag runs. Oh my god. My heartburn is a fucking hellstorm fire of fury right now. And the fans are back up on their feet, which means that the insulin is in their bloodstream. Breaking up that pin there. Again, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Followed by that suplex, right? Being able to, to act, but respond to what's going on outside of your one-on-one -on -one component, component. Compartmentalizing the match. Very strategic. Boss, are you asleep? Is he asleep? Let's slap him. You wait. What? What? Okay. I thought I, I couldn't tell because I. Do you sleep with your eyes open? Because I thought you were dead for a second. 
Well, how do you think I survived working at the dad of the company? I had to find some way to sleep. Oh, those people never stop talking. <laughs> That is something that you and I actually have in common, Hoss. I actually admit a pattern where I just take naps. Three hours here, three hours there. Goddamn dragons picking up. Relatively quick win there. Definitely qu quicker yeah, than what I had expected. Rather, rather well singles control and when they did a bit of crossover they picked up the win and I mean look it was it was a clean victory there um, well fought match again we saw a lot of independent work between the team but it was a divide and conquer strategy that worked for them and they earned that victory a great showcase again of the diversity and capabilities of the individuals in the tag team division here at Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Indeed. Dragons showing off that they're going to be, got to be taken seriously in the tag team division. And that, and you know what? You're right, Hoss. And and the best way to do that is through action. And that's what they did. They're going to work their way up that ladder. It's like anything else. Actions of course, now we have another prospect words. tag team facing off with one of the best. People considering this a dream match because they're both old-school technical wrestling powerhouse tops. And that is the Revival, or FTR, facing off with the New Age Brain Busters. It's going to be potentially match of the night. I don't want to put the cart before the horse, but to your point, and to add to what you just said, Hoss, this... You're exactly right. I am a big fan of both of these teams. Um, you know, I am a little biased towards the Revival or FTR. Excuse me, but um, you're right. They they are set, both these tag teams exhibit some similar behaviors. It's going to be great to see these two go at it and see who is able to out technical wrestle the other, outpace the other, outmaneuver the other. This is going to be a good challenge for both teams tonight. Wake up. Of course, only moments away <laughs> now from heading to the ring. What? What are you saying, Steve? I, he fell asleep again. Sorry. Ah. I'm just making there sure. I'm just making sure you're okay. You know, some people when they fall asleep, they need one of those machines to help them breathe at night. I'm trying to save your life, Hoss. <laughs> what? What? Come back to us. Walk away from the light. Yeah, I'm here. I know you're on about. Here they come. Look at the demeanor. Damn old equipment not allowing me to communicate as I should. <laughs> well, you know what they say about technology and how it advances. It's two steps forward, and, or one step forward and two steps back. Which also happens to be one of the sobriety tests that I have been known and subjected to in the history of my involvement with the police force here in Texas. Goddamn Mr. York walking out by himself, it seems. What's going on here? Interesting. Vibing, stretching. I have no goddamn, no goddamn idea what he's up to. Well, I don't know how you feel about this, Hoss, but, you know, when a tag team comes out, I think they should always come out together. Um, and it's, it's really oh. not that Oh, well, there's Mac. Oh, there we go. I just Fifita. think it's a show of solidarity. Mac Fifita. The Tongan Enforcer. Now that's a man I can respect. I'll tell you what. That beard alone, it, it, it warrants respect. I, I respect a man who can groom a good beard. You know, something that's a fire hazard. These men look like they're about to perform a hit. 
I was going to say, they look like there's something out of uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Or a uh, true crime kind of... Kind of game. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. There's something in the air here in Texas. I've already gained five pounds. I can't think right. Of course, New Age Rangers versus FTR. Match is now on. The bun's bell's been rung. Here we go. Now, for me, I'm going with FTR again. I'm, I'm, I'll admit when I am biased, and <clears throat> I don't mean to be. I think it's very difficult as a commentator to not be right, but. Um, and I'll tell you why. I have seen more of FTR, and I've followed their career longer than I have the New Age Brain Buster. So it's not anything personal, it's just based on the information that I have on both tag teams. I'm going with FTR. But on the other side of that coin, I don't really know what to expect from the New Age Brain Busters. And that uncertainty is very exciting. Oh, what a mind up punch to the face delivered by none other than Mr. Yuck. Very well done, too, and obviously effective. Good opportunity to make the tag, bring in the fresh blood. Kind of the first time tonight that we're seeing a traditional tag team match and and, and uh, obviously by design based on the booking right and the stipulations of the two previous matches but also because of who, who the competition is in this team two classic technical tag team wrestlers or tag teams Matt of course the powerhouse of the pair now getting the tag in to Dax and to Mr. Yuck, see what happens. Whoa, the chop block. And again, the back and forth here between these two have been nothing short of spectacular so far. Now here's something. Now, notice the crowd is, is sitting down again. For the last two matches, they've been all over the place. Now you're from Texas. You know you were talking about the, the prowess of tag team wrestling halls in Texas. Okay, now now the fans are getting up. I'm just like, okay, now you're seeing an actual tag team match here, normal you know tag team match with no other stipulations here. What do you have to say for your people there? I know what you're saying. My point exactly. Uh, something, something, Texas, yeah. Texas is great. <laughs> Spoken like a true Texan. Although I will oh, say... Larry over the top row. The, the, the best thing beautiful. about Texas is the city of Austin. I've been to, I've been to all the major cities in Texas. Uh, and I consider El Paso one of those cities because it's a border town. Amarillo is my least favorite. Um, Austin is my most favorite. And uh, I think it's the culture, music, nightlife, and uh, I don't have any restraining orders there. They'll be looking for something here. Mr. Yuck up. No, it's reversed away. Scott Dorson's now the man on the job. And we want the job indeed. I mean, again, it's, in my opinion, again, I'm going off of history. I'm going off of what I know of these two teams. And, and also, what I don't know about these two teams, particularly the New Age Brain Busters. And I hate to make assumptions. You know, all the that does is make it mess out of you and me, as the expression goes. But I'm being, I am surprised, not surprised, but pleasantly. Uh, i some tag team action finally. Yeah. Wow, brutal it. right shot to the kidneys. You got to be careful with those kidney shots because a good shot to the kidney will actually cause the kidney to bruise. 
where it feels like you have a bruised back, but you actually have a bruised kidney, and it affects a lot, so you got to be careful there with those kidney shots. Oh, what a urinary there by the Fafita. Again. Yeah. I've said it earlier. What I don't know about the New Age Brain Busters, I'm learning oh, tonight, what a, and I'm impressed. What a crossroads there. It's so hot in Texas. Oh my god, it's like always hot here. They just need to put a huge dome over the entire state and have I central air. Back in. I mean, I'm breaking a sweat over here. There's a lot of some tag team coordination between those two. And you know what? That's par for the course for a team like that. Both these teams, they exhibit those kind of behaviors I was mentioning earlier, that technical, classic tag team style of wrestling. We're seeing that in this match. In spades. There we go. Oh, what a snap DDT there. Definitely so. Clearly effective. That cross face quite close to the ropes there. Well, you know, and I made this argument before. Mr. Yuck almost able to slip it in completely. Seems like Dash is fighting through it. Rolls him out. Well, that ring positioning wasn't good in the first place, but not saying it was a bad idea, but showing his technical prowess, obviously able to get out of there and reverse it, but ring positioning still not optimal. Whoa, the float over. Neck breaker. Plus. Ash, Dax, God damn. Bad. Good opportunity to make the tag. And that's I've seen that a couple of times from both tag teams. Utilizing the right opportunity to make the tag, bring in the fresh blood, continue, rinse, repeat. Ah, that powerful kidney shot right there. Once you start going for the kidneys, you might as well stay on it. It's a good vector to attack. Whoa. Looks like Max Fader has found his moment. Now, here's something. Setting up uh -oh. Brain Buster. Oh my God. Again, textbook tandem. And that is all she wrote. New Age Brain Busters pick up the win. Very well deserved by the New Age Brain Busters. My applause to them. Great outing, great showing, and they have made a very positive impression, not only to me, but the rest of the division, and I believe tonight. If I'm not mistaken, those are sweatpants. Maybe I'm wrong, but I respect a man who wears sweatpants. It shows that they don't care. Great example of, of tactical tag team wrestling. Would expect nothing New less age. from these teams. New Age Brain Busters pick up the win. Good for them. Well deserved. A, a victory over a team like uh, FTR goes a long way, in my what opinion. What a well-deserved win for these two. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more, Haas. It looks like the crowd, the fanfare is in full effect. Indeed. Of course, we now have to move to our fourth match, which will be 
seeing two of the new signees teaming up together to face the Kabuki Warriors. Of course, last time we saw the Kabuki Warriors, they didn't come out together, which is not good for tag team chemistry, but it would be very interesting if these two would come out together. I agree with you. Of course, you. the Damon Page and Glowing Gloria. <laughs> I know, you got to be careful. If you're prone to seizures, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to look away from your screen. But of course, I mentioned that at the, at the beginning of the last match about coming out as, as a team, which eventually New Age Brainbusters did. But I agree with you. Last time we saw Kabuki Warriors, they did not do that, right? And I, and I, I look at that as a sign of... Not, uh, not necessarily weakness, but just are you on the same page? Is it egos? Why show a form of unity before the match? Although I will say, uh, I expect great things from this match. I think one of the things, obviously, that to me stands out about this match is you know, uh, if you go back to not last week, but the week before Haas. I don't know if you caught the women's showcase that we had, um, you know, which was great to, to show off the women's division here in Eclipse for Wrestling. Now, now we're doing the tag team, obviously, but I think this is going to be a great showcase of the women's tag team division. Obviously, it's the same division, but, you know, the, the, the women competitors. Horace, I heard through the grapevine, as it were, that... We're going to hear some potential announcement about the women's tag division after the next pay-per-view. Not quite sure. That's interesting. So, I mean, do you there's have... Some, there's some rumblings there. People think titles. People think official division stuff. I'm not quite sure. But... Well, yeah. So, so, so basically all you know is that there's information pending, but we don't know what it is yet. But it is in reference to that, to the women's tag. I was going to break that up because I was, as I was talking, I was like, well, is it the same division? You know, I mean, I don't want to accidentally say something that's politically incorrect. And it just got a few degrees hotter here in Texas. Now seeing Demon Page coming to the ring. Pardon me, I was parched. It's so hot. No, it was a bad choice. Wait, what's Kyrie got in her hand? Uh, usually an umbrella. Now that looks like something out of Final Fantasy. Well, they're coming out together, which is interesting. Well, it definitely deviates from the behavior that we see from them before, doesn't it, Hoss? Seems that Oscar might have a list of some kind. I thought it was the box of chocolates. You just made the list. I love whatever she is, whatever Kyrie is carrying. It it, it resembles to me a sword. In an RPG like Final Fantasy, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's a clipboard. Now that I get a closer look, maybe it's a restraining order. Gotta say, I think it, it's at least an upgrade from the umbrella for Kyrie Sane. Well, you know what? There could be a button or something there that makes it, you know, expand or. Do something, I don't know. I'm not very smart when it comes to umbrellas. I don't know what what happened in that first exchange. Yeah, it looked like a, a, a swing and a miss followed by another swing and a miss that just collided at the same time. Oh, 
Dylan Gloria able to finally recover. Now, I have made this argument before, calling other matches before. I'd like to get your opinion on this, Haas. Look at the length of the ponytail there. Now, I, I consider that a risk. I mean, that could be dangerous. You do a man she does a maneuver wrong, and you could lose an eye. Now, I'm not saying that she can't have her hair like that, but she could take a page out of Seth Rollins' book and do, you know, the little em emasculating uh, man bun thing. God, I hate the man buns. Looks like a damn ass clown. Of course, it is the referee's job to mitigate people like that from trying to use the hair as a weapon or trying to use the hair to their advantage. What I'm saying is but. by accident. Because you could just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ah. Oh. By accident or not. I think you're a bit at risk if, if, if you're not maliciously trying to do stuff like that. It's not often you're going to whiplash yourself around by on accident. I guess, I guess that's fair. Perhaps I'm being overly cautious. Got Demon Page and Asuka tagged in. I got to Oh. Oh my god. Demon Page using some of that demonic strength to take down Asuka. And Asuka is no slouch at all. Obviously, anybody who's followed her career, not just here at Eclipse Pro Wrestling, but across the globe, has been nothing short of phenomenal. She's She's made a name for herself, not only as Asuka, but as, as Khan and, as, and, and other personas across the world, and is very much respected. Um, I respect her as well, so it's going to be an uphill battle here. It's going to be a great match here, it has been already. Oh, damn. God damn. I said god damn. It's changing strikes here. I haven't really seen much of a grappling contest so far. Been predominantly striking, which I would not go into a ring trying to exchange strikes with Asuka. Now, you know what? I was listening to what you were saying there, Haas. I was wondering where you were going to go with it, and you, were go you went in the same place I was going to go. Asuka has this, those brutal strikes that are very commanding, very effective, and very precise. Oh, crap. Drop my fucking... Sorry. Again, I want to thank everybody for joining, watching us here tonight at Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Whether you're watching live or watching a replay, we appreciate you joining. I am Steve Anderson along with Madman Hoss. God damn. I said God damn. God damn. God doesn't need a damn. He could walk on water. Not correct. It was Jesus. Of course, now I've seen some tag team action out of Glow and Damon Page. Very interesting to see. Well, you know, one thing that I think is, uh, that I keep in the back of my mind is, it's, it's I, I'm not surprised, but I am surprised. I just, it's like you don't know what to expect. You don't know what you don't know. Um, I think that there's some things that you expect to see, like the strikes we were talking about with Asuka, the grappling that we were referring to, um, the seizure pro attire that we're seeing there. Uh, but there's also the unexpected, the unknown unknowns. What ain't no country? Oh, full away slam. Directly on the Asuka. And any, all the attacks that have been against Asuka in this match so far have been heavy impact match, uh, sorry, heavy impact uh, maneuvers. Even this Indeed, I don't believe we've seen Asuka in singles competition yet. I'm just referring to, I'm, you have to pardon me, I'm, I'm referring to just what I've seen in her career outside of the Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Kyra saying point to her elbow, could be seeing the insane elbow sometime soon. I gotta tell you, for a woman of her size, she definitely knows, she's mastered that, that elbow. You know, I mean, a huge dive of an elbow there that didn't get any. Well, you know, 
trying to trying to impersonate, trying to charade the master. But wonderful maneuver there. I on a rampage. Again, more. Again, these maneuvers that we're seeing here. High impact. They're really getting the job done. There we go. The other one of those two. Sorry. Oh, drop straight in her goddamn skull. My goodness. What a show of physical you know, dominance there. Wait. Okay. Glowing glory or attacking her partner? I, I, I gotta tell you, I thought that that last pin attempt was three. But since air, I think I have an eye infection or something. Seeing things, Hoss. It looks like Kyrie is seeing things too, or just, just shaking off, seeing stars. God, I don't think everything's cordial in the in the team between Demon Page and Glow. These two have been in this match now for a decent amount of time. Um, I was I was keeping track here of the of the tags, and then. I stopped keeping track at the end of that story, so I lost. I lost count. <laughs> That's two slaps delivered to Oscar, and being tossed across the ring. God damn! I say, God damn! Whoa! What a belly to belly! Again. Oscar's been taking a lot from uh, a lot of heavy hitting action in this match against her. Look at that, back to back like that. See to the replay. And I don't know how. I mean, it's. A... I don't think these two are getting along that well. I'm not sure if we'll see them together in the future, but they were clearly trying to play show off here tonight well they, they were definitely as we just saw boss not the better tag team tonight and they were clearly not on the same page um and it was their achilles heel um so you know who knows what's next for them but i think you're absolutely right there's something fishy Deserved win. A little bit of a high five afterwards, but you can feel the animosity between them. We head to our next match. Next match is going to be a, uh, another great one. Just, I love these showcases. Uh, correct me you know, if I'm wrong. It was uh, not last week. It was the week before where we had again the women's showcase. Now tonight, the tag team showcase. Love these showcases because it's, it's a great way to definitely show off the individual aspects of Eclipse Pro Wrestling, and this match is going to be a great version of that, a three-way tag team match here. At the New Day versus the Street Profits versus Usos. Another tornado tag in the mix. Of course, now we got this triple threat match. Between the New Day, the Street Profits, and the Usos. Should be a terrific display of action. Seeing what some of the best tag teams in the world can do. Absolutely, totally, 110% agree with you. Again, looking forward to seeing these three teams go at it here. I gotta tell you, the Street Profits, they had to grow on me a little bit. Wasn't particularly a fan of them when I first got introduced to them, I'll admit. 
And honestly, I could say the same thing about the New Day. I, when I first got introduced to the New Day, uh, you know, when I first saw them as a trio, I should say, uh, you know, I was like, you know, what are you dancing for? You know, acting around, looking like a fool. What do you got, what do you got to be so happy about? But they've grown on me too. And you know what it is? It's, it's their technical prowess. It's their capability. It's their inward acumen. It's how they carry themselves. And that says a lot about a person. It says a lot about a tech. I always wonder what's in that solo cup. The reason why I ask is because I've never seen it spill before. There you go. I got to say, though, as a single man who does not do dishes or own a dishwasher, you know, we do paper plates here or we eat off the table. So when I see a solo pop, though, that's, that's, I live off that. I haven't been able to hear you for like the last two minutes. Really? At all? Now, this goddamn newfangled equipment's been terrible. Hopefully you're okay. saying something about tag team wrestling, because that's all that's so important here. I'm sorry, I, uh, I can hear you just fine. I, I'll try and, if I speak up, is, is that better? Uh, yeah, I can hear you a little bit now. Yeah, I'm looking at my system here, and... Of course, New Day making their way downtown now. These guys, one of the best tag teams to ever grace the business. I'm going to try something here to try to see if I can increase the volume. It's max, so I'm going into my system settings here. <clears throat> Big A. Kofi Kingston representing the New Day. Biggie busting it down for everyone. All right, I'm gonna raise my level here. Can you hear me better now? Pause. There? Can you hear me now? It's fine. Now it's better. Okay, I just hope it's not too loud on Twitch. Of course, now the Usos making their way down. Also, some of the best always mentioned in Dream Tag matches. Definitely an impressive tag team. Obviously, um, you know, anybody who knows anything about the Usos, their lineage, their bloodline, um, it's it's rich with with, le with nothing short of legends um so you know no surprise to me that they are as great of a tag team as they are Right out of the gate. Wow. Got Big A taking on Jim Uso. Got Angelo Dawkins taking on Kofi Kingston. We got Montez Ford taking on Jay Uso. A lot going on here. Again, it's going to be a quick example of who. What team? I'm here to break it down since day one-ish. Break it down. You know, these matches, there's so much action going on in these kind of matches, these these uh, tr these triple threat tornado style uh, tag team matches. 
and you love to see them. It's just that there's so much going on, and I, I think that that's what, one of the greatest aspects about it. It really challenges the tag teams involved in the match because it's, it, it takes them out of the normal spectrum of, this, of a normal tag team match, right? So you got to be more observant of what's going on. Uh, damn, Angela Dawkins really on that spear in this match. I've seen about three so far. Been quite a night of action here in Fort Worth, Texas. I got to tell you, I've been a, a lot of crazy uh, memories and experiences here. Texas is quite a place, host. I know you'll agree with me. Indeed. It is so hot, though. Well, if you the old adage is, can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. That is true, but I don't cook. My kitchen is basically the most depressing room in my house. Well, that in the bathroom. Well, the whole place is pretty sad. Most depressed, most depressing place in my house is anywhere with a mirror. <laughs> Well said. Now that I've actually got a house, at least that's better than going stadium to stadium, but that is what it is. Yeah, yeah, I, uh... <laughs> uh, that's a good line there, Hans. About that mirror there. You know, I actually don't have a full body mirror oh, in my god. house. Oh, god, Big E, you dumb bastard. You just connected with your own tag partner. A lot going on, oh, friendly fire. Alerted a middle rope, double forearm, directly to his partner, Kofi Kingston. Come on, Biggie, you're better than that. Look before you jump. I'm uh, just seeing your note here. Starting to break down a little bit. Montez Ford and Jimmy in the ring. Kofi getting in and out. Like Jay and Kofi potentially locking up, as well as Angel Dawkins and Big E, the two biggest men in the match. Big E definitely has that size out. advantage, but for a man of his size, is able to move quite well, very, very quickly, above average. Certainly got that physique of a linebacker, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. Just uh, check it out. Kofi saving his partner from a pinfall attempt there. Referee was knocked out by Jay. Uh, receiving a note here from backstage. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah. my goodness! And oh, what a neck breaker on Montez Ford by Kofi. I was gonna say that was. Very well done, and and the opportunity, the timing of what he executed, that was right on point. And everyone's back in the ring, ready for chaos. Kind of interesting how powerhouses have almost been a non-factor in this match. Uh, you're absolutely right, Hoss. That's a very good point. And you know what I think it is? And correct me if you have a different uh, outlook, but it's because of the, the style of this match. There's so much going on that Montez the size is really a factor because you can, you know, size can be a downfall oh, for you, oh, especially when you want to play like these tactics. Montez to sneak win here. No, Kelpie's straight on. God. <laughs> God. Well, Kofi poses and get punched in the face for his troubles. Thanks for coming, Kofi. Oh no, Angelo, what are you doing? 
J. Oh, what a superplex. Holy shit. Again, what we're seeing here is... And only a one count. What is Jey Uso made out of? Exactly. What, does, what has to be done to keep him down? I mean, just a one count? Are you kidding me? I gotta take off my hat. It is so hot. Oh, what a demolish. My god. You know what I do miss though? There was this there was this guy I know. He was uh doing streaming of uh, those old Legend of Zelda games. Oh yeah. I haven't seen one of those in a while. But hopefully he's up to good stuff. Yeah, I uh I I actually know who you're talking about. Um my understanding is, uh, you know, he's got some personal stuff going on. I think he, uh, landed some kind of new job. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Oh, he's good to be employed. Yeah. Well, best yeah. of luck to him. Yeah. Best of luck to him. Solid dude. Solid dude. I, uh, I actually need to grab my charger. Actually, you know what? No, I don't. I got it right here. Uh, why, why is everybody celebrating in the rain and them getting kicked in the face? <laughs> they deserve. You know, and I think you try and celebrate when you got two guys sitting right behind you. You're gonna get kicked in the head. I, and I've made a comment on that before. You know, showboating. There's a time and a place. <laughs> and well, there's, there's a time and a place for showboating, but it's not when you've got three guys all around you. Like exactly. What, what, what kind of nonsense is that? Well, it's 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 definitely foolishness. It's uh. It's a little, uh, it's a little foolish. Sorry, I'm, uh, having issues here. I'm trying to, one of my machines is dying, so. Okay. One team really stand at the moment is the New Day, uh, and then subsequently put straight down. Now I've got the, both the Street Profits up. Could they possibly look to play? You have to excuse me just for one second, Pops. I'm switching machines because my other one's dying. That's right. I got this anyway. I'm, 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 I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, Usos. Come on. Come on. Idiots. Idiots the lot of Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm back. I don't know how we're going to look for a break in this match. What is this? And I'm back. Sorry about that. Apparently, I need a new battery. And I can see... <clears throat> There's still, as you mentioned earlier, chaos going on in this match. Indeed. Actually, in all directions, in the ring. Outside the Kofi, the only man standing in the ring at the moment. And now, see, that's the time for a show of fanfare. Gets out of the ring. Angelo Dawkins is all too clean, keen to put him back in. Not even really paying attention Ooh, to what's going on. Frog and jeez, what a combination. Kofi's he's on top of the game, man. The new day steal the victory by milliseconds there. Well, you know what? You're absolutely right. It was so close. I thought they were gonna break the pin. Look at the at the replay though. That frog splash. Just so execu executed so well there. But Kofi was the one in the end oh, that man. ended up being able to deliver the final blow as we saw. Oh, super kick. Ah, oh, the spine buster. Oh, the New Day put it away. 
They gave it all. Their blood, literally you know, their blood. Sweat Biggie tears. is bleeding more than a rare steak. <laughs> yeah, he's a bloody mess. And he's still dancing? I mean, he doesn't need a needle for a blood test anymore. <laughs> But hopefully he's not hurt too bad. Wish him well as we move on for action. We finally come to our second, our, our penultimate main event, where the number one contendership is on the line between the Silhouettes of Redemption and DIY. This is going to be a great match. Now, Silhouettes of Redemption and DIY are both great tag teams. Um... As you know, well, actually, Hoss, I don't know how much how much of the past watched of Eclipse Pro Wrestling, but I'll tell you from what I've seen with the uh, Silhouettes of Redemption, they were in content. They you know they fought really hard to be in contention for the tag team title and uh, the championship, and you know unfortunately they didn't make it there. But uh, definitely a, a good effort of valor on their part. They're a good tag team working together a long time. I've seen, a uh, I've seen a little bit of their work. I saw them developing a bit of a mean streak in the last match, just trying to dominate their opponents. But here they are, and they have a shot to redeem themselves. Pun intended. Uh, it, uh, DIY and number one contendership on the line. And, you know, you, you hit the nail on the head there, Hoss, because as you mentioned, you know, we did see a, a meaner side, sort of a, a, a side of Silhouettes of Redemption that deviated from what, we, what we're used to seeing. And I think it goes back to what I said where, you know, they lost that contention to the tag team titles. I think that's just a frustration that they're showing. Um, and it's a little refreshing, honestly. Of course, it definitely seems like Dez and Drekvac, Drekavac, whatever his goddamn name is. Well, I know Dez just usually calls him Drek. No, he using every part of their power advantage here against DIY. A little history lesson for people who do not know, and this is something that, D that they have in common with DIY, uh, before the formation of Silhouettes of Redemption, just like before the formation of DIY, Redemption were both solo competitors, Des the Destroyer and Drek. Um, and then they formed their tag team, and really that's it was when they became a tag team is really when they is when they started dominating. Um, their individual styles really work well together. Wait. DIY not coming out together? Huh. We've been seeing that tonight. Uh, from other teams That's too. That's not a good sign. That is not good at all. You know, again, I mentioned it earlier. If, if you, it's a coming out together is a, just a solid, easy opportunity to show a sense of unity that you're on the same page. I mean, it's not saying that you're going to lose the match. It's just when you come out separately like that, why? Especially in the tag match. I don't like where. Drek and Dez is standing on the outside of that ring with the steel cage just about to come down. Well, you know, to your to the point that you were just making about coming out, you know, it's part of... I was actually thinking that when I saw SOR come out together. You know, what that's what made me mention that SOR used to be single competitors, but, you know, they've united in the way that they have. And, you know, they, they identify each other as equals, and uh, it's not a good start in my part from DIY's perspective to see them no come music, out separately. You can only hear the boos of the crowd as Champa makes his way out to the ring. Well, you know what? I got to tell you, uh, you, you're right about wrestling in Texas, and the, the, the Texas wrestling fans are, are actually pretty intelligent wrestling fans. I would say they're up there with Philadelphia wrestling fans, New York wrestling fans, uh, Canadian wrestling fans. I don't think the DIY are on the same page like we're led to believe. It would appear that Not you're absolutely right. That's going to be bad. You 
Here we go. I always love watching that cage go down. Morgan, a huge fall away from Dez. That's the thing is that, you know, both Dez and Brad both have two different things to offer. Um, not to say that one's superior to the other. They complement each other. Um, but Dez has been exhibiting more physical prowess lately. And I think it goes back to what you mentioned, Haas, earlier about how they just been, as a team, acting more aggressive, more angry. Even with that lariat that we saw from Dez against Gargano. I mean, just the way that he executed it just seemed almost out of, like it was out of spite. God, Randall doing that pop-up just to get knocked back down. Gotta feel bad for him. Dez clearly making the most as much energy as possible. Um, that's the thing. You've got to be careful about that. You have to be able to... Uh, how do you say this? Uh, you know, you don't want to burn out. You don't want to use all of the energy in the battery at once. That's the thing. You know, it's like you have to be able to sustain. You have to be able to remain engaged. Pace yourself. I gotta tell you, that's what Drek making making a jump for it. It seems. Yeah, absolutely does. Bring back, uh, bring back memories here of, of what I've seen in, from them in the past in other promotions. That's again. I mean, you mentioned it earlier, Hoss. You're absolutely right. I got to tell you, you know you're wrestling, Hoss. You do know you're wrestling. When you're right, you're right. But just looking at this match, I mean, that's just... He, he is acting very aggressive. He's acting very... All his maneuvers are very impactful. I mentioned that earlier in the other match. Um, it's, it's like he's constantly showing off. Um, not intentionally showing off. Not showboating showing off. But look at his maneuvers. They're all very dangerous maneuvers that are executing and are on point. It seems that even at the two at one disadvantage that Dez is still keeping pretty firm grasp on this man. Honestly, yeah, I was going to say, it's a two on one scenario here. And, you know, obviously here we are now the tables are turning a little bit, but He's holding his own. Very, very, you know, it's almost like a, a state of uh, hyper uh, active disorder or something like that. It's just every maneuver is, nothing seems. You know, you're not seeing one arm punches, you're not seeing strikes, you know, you're not seeing headbutts. What you're seeing are you're seeing holds, you're seeing grabs, you're seeing suplexes from Dez. Um, it's like he's trying to say something with, with his wrestling. It's really uh, an art form. See? No strikes. No, no. Just going right for it. Every play is a passing play. And it's working out for him because he's handling Gorgano and he's handling uh, Champa very well. I mean, honestly, this is this is an example where you know the name Silhouettes of Redemption I think is appropriate at this time where they are in Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Um, I think they're in a position where they want to redeem themselves from a tag team perspective, where they fought, where they see themselves in the division after the fallout from uh, the tournament, the tag tournament, to determine who would become the tag team champions. So, you know, where do they go from there, right? And that's where we started seeing these changes. And it, it's, for me, it's been refreshing. Um, you know, I believe that the only justice in this world is the justice that you take. Um, and I think that's what they're doing. 
You still with me? Wake up. You fell asleep again. Whoa, just dropping champ on the dome of his top of his head. It's been very consistent from Dez. Again, I mentioned it earlier. I, I mean, I call it like I see it. I'm just calling what I'm seeing. You know, you're not seeing, you're not seeing short delivered attacks. You're seeing very thought out maneuvers. There we go. A lot of, lot of variants there. Very effective there. Of course, I happen to know that uh, Dez's two favorite colors are black and blue. Um, technically, black is not a color. And I've told him that before, but uh, he didn't take too kindly to it. But he told me that the black and blue represents uh, the color to which he leads his opponents. Well, I said, so shouldn't they be wearing black and blue? And uh, he didn't take too kindly to that either. What I learned was uh, not to piss him off. Drex a little bit nicer. Like, Dez strikes me as one of those guys who definitely rips his kids' posters off the wall. Dez deciding that he is finally done with this match as he steps to victory. Well done by Silhouettes of Redemption, redeeming themselves, no pun intended, but it is par for the course with what I see as their strategy to get back in the top of the division. They want those titles. Wonder if that would play or if that if that was what they had in mind that it's an interesting decision to put to put Daz as the only man in the cage for majority well, of the match. actually ninety five percent of the match. Yeah, majority of the match. And Dez handled both Gorgano and Tommaso very well, and again, like I was saying throughout the match, you weren't seeing punches, you weren't seeing strikes, you weren't seeing slaps, you weren't seeing eye gouges or headbutts, you were seeing the suplexes, you were seeing uh, all of the uh, physical, physically intensive maneuvers there, and that's what allowed him to really control the match. The only way that I can really read it is that they wanted to say that they only need one of them to just dismantle DIY. Well, again, definitely a show of force by Silhouettes of Redemption. They are trying to make a statement within Eclipse Pro Wrestling, and actions speak louder than words. I respect that, and uh, it's refreshing to see. I think it's just great for the division. It's great for Eclipse Pro Wrestling, and it's great for the fans. Now we have our main event where the Equinox Championships and Bird Belts are on the line. Champions, Blood Moon, taking on Shield. Blood Moon has been doing their thing. Every time I gotta watch myself, I uh, it's funny you mentioned Zelda earlier that, that Blood Moon is a Zelda it's from a Zelda thing, so I, I always get a little confused. But they have been a very great team, obviously. Um, you know, earning the Equinox Championship, those tag team champions. Again, I know you don't know what an Equinox is there, but, uh, you know, basically when, uh, I mean, it's, it's when the, the seasons change. Actually, there's a difference between Equinox and, I guess I don't know what it means here, but I know it's when the clocks change. Autumn Equinox and the Summer Solstice. There's a difference between a Solstice and an Equinox. One thing that I noticed that we have not seen tonight, as we see these individuals come out to the ring, I'm just looking at the match card here to make sure that I'm right. 
No, okay, never mind, sorry. Catch myself before I say something wrong. So now, you know, as we go in, this is our main event for tonight, right? So just to recap here, right? So obviously Blood Moon, the incumbent, and, and, and first, you know, the Equinox Tag Team Champions, right? They earned that through a series of, of, uh, of tournament that had gone on uh, for the last pay-per-view. And we just hey, saw Silhouette of Redemption. Did out through the crowd? Man. Oh, something unexpected here. DIY anyway. not coming. DIY not coming out together, and now the shield not coming out through the crowd. I'm hella confused. Uh, well, you know what? I mean, there's strategy in mystery. Um, I would argue. Um, you know, people uh, question the things they don't understand, and that's just part of the human experience. <clears throat> Love, again, I've talked about this last week. Love the titles here at Eclipse Pro Wrestling. Very unique, very well designed. They stand out. I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors. I am wearing noise canceling headphones and I am hearing them. What? I guess you don't hear them. Never mind. No, I don't hear shit, man. Well, I turned it the volume up on my mic, so I defended. hear a lot. I have a lot of background. I thought they were bird belts. Why has it got the sun and moon on it? <laughs> <laughs> because the equal... See, now I have to Google it, but I'm sure it has something to do with the moon. Man, they got us on the wrong goddamn show. I got the those birds, and then now it's the sun, and now even the other guy does has no clue what's going on. Well, you know, it's funny, Hoss. You, you, they look pretty, but goddamn, I don't make, couldn't make heads or tails of what's going on. Well, you know, it's Eclipse Pro Wrestling. You know what an Eclipse is, right? So, I mean, you know, the entire time we've been watching tonight's action, you, I'm sure that you've noticed that the ring actually has uh, planetary imagery on it. Now, now you know what a planet oh. is, right? So eclipse. Oh right. Okay. Now it's starting to make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Connecting the dots there. I mean, it looks nice. I don't get what's going on. This symbology already or always goes out of my head. Well, I'll tell I you leave what. leave symbols to the symbol-minded. One thing that I will say, us, is that it's been one hell of a night of action, and there has a, a lot that has gone on. So uh, it's definitely. It can be challenging to keep up because there's just so so much action. Oh no. Bitter end. Oh god. I mean Man, that would have been that would have been something, wouldn't it? That would have been unprecedented. Um <laughs> I think I would also arguably be a little upsetting. It almost would have been exactly like what happened to Lady Hawk and Beth Phoenix match. Shortest title defense in Eclipse history. You know what? It was a short match, but you know what? I mean, I kind of hand it to Lady Hawk. It was short, but she did what she had to do. It's like she, she had this mentality during that match of shit or get off the pot, and it worked for her, and she's, she's making a great lunar champion, which, uh, again, uh, you know, lunar moon, you know, so. Well, I feel like it's almost a level of respect as well, because we got leading up to that that Beth Phoenix was Lady, or is Lady Hulk's idol, so giving it all when you're facing your idol, that's that's a level of respect. Well, yeah, so that's a good point, role, actually. Uh, I'd say that that's, that's not respectable. Whoa, you, big man's in, huge you, leg drop. You could make that argument. I look at it as, okay, it's my idol. I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. But I also see your argument. You're my idol. I want to actually well, I don't think it's. I don't think it's trying to get the win as quickly as possible. It's just, like, I, I don't want to half-ass it. Right. 
Why did that I don't want to try and disrespect them by, by not giving it everything I can. Well, but here's the thing, though. She won the match. So, at what point does that responsibility fall on the person who lost the match? Oh, no, no, no. I, I definitely agree that Beth Phoenix probably could have delivered more, but uh, purely from our champion, the champion's perspective, it's like you wouldn't want to, you don't want to risk trying to, trying to take it easy on a legend just because they're your idol. Right. I, I understand. I think it's a good... Whoa! Good understanding. God damn, Roman Reigns is going to be seeing birds. Ah, uh, there's something I about like seeing Roman bird Reigns title take a hit like that, that. For a few weeks. <laughs> that kick to the head rocked him solid. It knocked him out for a second, I think. I mean, Blood Moon have earned those titles. They have done a great job. And I tell you what, the tag team division here at Eclipse Pro Wrestling... Everybody who's watching this replay or live has seen it tonight. This showcase has been a proof of, of what the team division is. And, and the fact that Blood Moon has those titles, they earn them. Uh, the division here is just unparalleled. Very competitive. No, going to Suplex City, it would seem. Eric Vera prepared. Suplex City. I'll tell you what. The, the biggest threat about those back-to-back -back suplexes like that is the impact that it has on the, 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 the spine and the neck and the vertebrae and the disc in the back. If, if you land wrong just once, I mean, it's going to hurt no matter what. But very prone to injury there, as you saw how it took him a long time to get up. Oh no. We about to see Blood Moon. My god. Here he Jesus, Dean Ambrose kicks out of the Blood Moon combination. One hell of a main event this has been. Of course, that is to be expected by the likes of both of these teams. Pardon me. Don't eat whatever's backstage. And another huge moonsault off the top rope there. Another two count. I gotta tell you though, those aerial assaults, they're landing and they're effective, and as long as they stay on that trajectory, hell, it's, I see a, 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 not an easy, but I see an inevitable win here. They just gotta earn it. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, flying Larry from Garrett Vera with the assist from Pat Downs. Great uh, hand of maneuvering there. That's what makes a good tag team, as I said earlier a couple of times in tonight's showcase. Big swing and a miss there. Met with the uh, retaliation. Yeah, almost pulling in Reigns. Oh! What a spear through the ropes. Picked up his own medicine. How does it taste? Yeah, it seems that way. And see, this is what I was referring to earlier. You see, you're seeing from both teams, you're seeing a lot of strikes. And we've seen a lot of we've seen a lot of different tag team action tonight. A lot of different methods, a lot of different wrestling styles, classic styles, technical styles, high flying styles. Um, it's been a great showcase. Very proud to be a part of Eclipse Pro Wrestling. It's been a lot seen. The legend still got it. See how you have to work together, even when both men are legal. And to work together in the old school. And and, and another thing Having too. Having to work together when you don't really know the other player. Exactly, exactly. I mentioned it earlier. Unknown unknowns. And also the legends 
unfortunately, statistically, tend to be more injury prone for obvious reasons, right? They've taken more beatings. They've been in the business longer. Um, so that could be another, you know, Achilles heel for them. But also especially highlighted in the match just prior, we got how you have to show individual strength in the tag team. And that's the, that's, you're absolutely right there, Hawks. I mean, a great tag team, and I think a great example of that uh, is, is, uh, is the Revival. Um, you know, those two, they're a tag team, you know. They're a solid tag team, but independently, they function simultaneously uh, and autonomously, right? So that's part of what makes a great tag team. I think we're starting to see that with Silhouettes of Redemption, too. Oh my god. Dean Ambrose attacking Garrett Burr on the outside. Whoa. That down's just. Isn't all of that type of stuff. And I thought that that was. And it was. It absolutely was. Knew that. Flare kick. Brutal on the side of the head there. What a great main event and what a great night of action it has been. I love these showcases. I'm looking forward to more of them. Not only additional women's and tag team showcases as those divisions evolve, right? But other aspects to Eclipse Pro Wrestling because there's just so much action and so much diversity here. It's part of what makes Eclipse Pro Wrestling so special. And we're so thankful for everybody who tunes in every week watching live or watching the replays. Indeed. A lot of performance by our champions retaining their titles. They will go on to face Silhouettes of Redemption at the pay-per-view. I think they'll be... I think the pay-per-view is called Meteor Storm? Meteor Shower? Something like that. I know, uh, that's why I'm looking at my paperwork here. Yeah. Meteor anyway, Shower. Thank you all for tuning in to Eclipse Pro last week. I've been Haas, been joined by Steven Anderson. Been absolutely great call in action tonight with you, Haas. Thanks to everybody for watching. Indeed. Thank you. And for Eclipse for Wrestling, that's been everything. Hope to see you next week. I'll be backstage. I will not be on the mic, but I'll see you around. Looking forward. Mark Padre.